I am Jibo. Good afternoon. Welcome back to our channel. What? Today, we will be unboxing our new robot, Mbot Neo, by MakeBlock. Mbot Neo is a remote control, Wi-Fi programmable robotics kit. It is a perfect educational toy for beginners. So, without any further delays, let's get started. Okay, and now we are going to open this box and see what inside. Here we go. Ta-da! And Debo, you are up next. The blue part here is the body frame. It has a good weight on it. Second piece here is the Mbot 2 shield that we can plug all the components into. The third piece here is the CyberPi. It is a single board computer that has the built in ultrasonic sensor, obstacle sensors, buzzer sensor module, receiver transmitter, and Wi Fi module. Then we have a quick star guide which contains information about each components and how to put together Mbot Neo. In this video, we will use a 3D instruction guide which available online via MakeBlock website. We will include all necessary links in the description box below. The next piece in the box is the line following map. When using line following program with this map, it will allow the robot to run on the line. Then we have two wheel hubs and two slick tires. They also included a screwdriver, which is very convenient. And here is a mini wheel and all the screws and different cable sizes that you need for each component. And here is an ultrasonic sensor too. And this part here is a quad color sensor. Finally, we have the encoder motors. Once again, please refer to Quick Starting Guide or Make Block website for additional details. So, let's have some fun putting them all together. First, we will put the two encoder motors together. These are encoder motors. Then, connect the motor cable on each side of encoder motors. There are two motor cables, with one connector smaller than the other. Connect the smaller one on each side. Next, insert the encoder motors inside the chassis.
and here is the final completion of our Embot Neo using the 3D instruction guide. Um, so to turn this on, just flip this switch to the left, and then uh, you will see the uh, both lights, the ultrasonic light and RGB sensor here at the bottom uh, lit up. It's pretty cool light. And when you look toward the bottom here, uh, we have the CyberPy dashboard. And this is, uh, we ha uh, we're gonna use this joystick to control the robot functionality. And if you look to the right of the panel here, you're gonna see the two uh, buttons, two input buttons um, that we can use to control the robot functionality and on the side here we have the home button it's going to take you to the main screen of the dashboard so today we will take a look at some of the preset programs through the cyberpy dashboard um, we're going to go ahead and select the switch program and then push the joystick button to get access to the list of the preset programs and here's the list so um, if you look at the bottom of the list here we have mbot 2 demo 1 2 and 3 and then um, if you go up to the top you're gonna see uh, interesting um, preset program here like a rainbow lights and the magical recorder you know which you can record your own voice and replay it through the CyberPy here. These are pretty cool preset programs. And now we're gonna go ahead and try some of these cool uh, preset programs. Um, first, select the switch program and then we're gonna see the list and then let's try the mbot 2 demo 1 preset program so we're gonna get gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and select that and this is the live follower you know so the instructions say push B to start and A to stop so the top is A and the bottom is B so then when you're ready and when we're ready, we're going to go ahead and place the robot onto that black line there. Okay, make sure it's on the line. And then we're going to go ahead and push the uh, B button when we're ready. There we go. So it's pretty good, you know, in following the line there. Um, make no mistake. And then it's pretty fast too um, so this is something that uh, we can play around with uh, in the future and once we done playing with it we're gonna go ahead and push the A button to stop it from going and this is the A button right there yeah and now we're gonna try another cool preset program so go to switch program and then we're gonna try inbot 2 demo 2 this time and select that and this one is the obstacle avoidance so push B to start A to stop and here are the objects that we want the robot to avoid so there's four objects and so uh, we're gonna go back again to switch program um, and then select the mbot 2 demo 2 and when we're ready we're gonna go ahead and push B, B to, to start. start So it appears that the robot seemed to avoid the objects pretty well, except that little wanted book there. And I think the book is too flat to be avoided. Okay, so the next um, demo that we're going to show you is the 
in bot 2 demo 3 which is this one and it's gonna be the um, joystick design path so for this preset program um, what you need to do is to use a joystick to design the path that you want the robot to go so for example here is I push the uh, joystick up to go up to have a robot go forward and then um, make the joy uh, push the joystick to the right so the robot turn right and so forth like you know uh, turn left and then uh, go backwards and now this is a, a, a simple path that just want to show you real quick and once you're ready just push on start button So as you can see that the design path is working very well and the robot is going according to the direction you provided. Alright guys, there you have it, Mbot Neo. Uh, this is uh, such a powerful little robot that we can play with in many different ways. And here's the website that will guide you to download and install the required software, which is the Mblock 5. Now this software is compatible with many devices uh, such as uh, Windows PC, Mac, or even tablet like iPad, you know, which I found is very convenient. Although this web page is specifically for Mbot and not actually for Mbot Neo, you will find that the guidelines for downloading and installing of the software are very similar. So this is the uh, quick example that I'd like to show you um, what is the M-Block 5 look like. Uh, I, I installed the software on my Mac and uh, as you can see to the left here, you're going to see the CyberPy, you know, listed under the devices, you know, as a default, you know, and this is fine. Um, so this is a quick program that I created. And I already upload the program to my CyberPy. So um, how it works is that uh, there are three sections here in the program. The first uh, section is when CyberPy start up. Uh, I have the pre-recording, you know, so to say hi, you know, up on startup. And then uh, the second section here is when I press the A button. Uh, on the CyberPy, uh, I can start recording my voice until I stop pressing uh, the A button. Then, you know, it stop recording. So the third section here is when I press the B button, then um, I can play the recording uh, that, you know, the voice that I just recorded. Okay, so um, to show you how this works, um, we're going to go ahead and turn on Mbot right here. And as you can see, uh, Mbot is ready for the Halloween. <laughs> so, the, okay, so now the program ran and up on starting up, uh, CyberPy say hi. And now I'm going to go ahead and record my voice by pressing the A button right here. So let's go. Emo, what does the cow say? And then once I'm ready, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the B button here. So let's say. That was fun and very educational experience, and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about Mbot Neo, please share with us. If you are interested in getting one of this little cool bot, the 10% discount link is included in a description below. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time.
I guess it's time to eat again for some robots.